So prayer is a very important thing in my, in my book. I heard them saying that they make me. <laughs> Man, they never make nothing. Heard them talking about all the way they take me. <laughs> but it really ain't nothing. All I do is press a button and now I'ma make it happen. Trying to run a race with me. You see just how I lap them and they trying to be mean. But can't see what they lacking and they can't impress me with talk and no action. Could that talk that they talk is just talk? Wasn't with me when I was pounding sidewalks. Cause when you ask them what they bring into the table, all they bring into the table is the night. Alright, Levi, so obviously leaving Sunday for AZ Alkmaar. But I think one of the things that would be helpful is for a lot of guys to know what it is like to be on trial so let, let's let's talk about for instance uh the first day you arrived in holland right so you arrived what 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 day did you actually fly into holland well i arrived on a sunday sunday evening everything went well right it was welcome only by the manager of the club right first session was the day after monday so monday morning. what time monday morning would have been the first session 9 a.m 9 a.m so in that first session, I mean, obviously, describe your feelings. I mean, nervous or what was your feeling when 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 you when you touched down on that in that facility? Uh, first session. First session, confident but a little bit nervous. Right. Wanting to know what kind of players, what it would have been like. Right. Yeah, it was just everything was nice. Right. And so what what sort so that that 9 a.m. session, right? Yeah. What sort of things did they, they do on that first day? What was that first session like? First session was like a lot of jail work, ball work. Right. Through the cones, ladders. Right. For, to see, um, to see everything and right. they did some ball work finishing. Right. And then a game. So they wanted to see scale. So you did a, a full 11 v 11 game? Yeah, full 11 v 11. All right. What were your thoughts as the session was going along? Were you, did you feel good about your performance while things were, you know, while training was taking place? Yeah, going along, I tried to make everything perfect. So, yeah. going along the session, I felt good about myself. Knowing that I was having a good performance, trying to impress everyone around so right. that you can see. I come here. What were your thoughts about the players uh, who you encountered over there in terms of the ability? Very, very sharp everything ability is hundred percent what was the first thing that jumped out at you uh, about their players in particular you know sometimes we talk to players and they say well man those guys look physically imposing or they were just a team that had great technique great skill what was the thing that that really jumped out at you regarding their players in particular because those are the guys you essentially were competing with yeah? my thing was that they'd be very tough right hard looking so in my mind was to just play their game, work hard also and use my dribbling skill as an advantage where there are not a lot of dribblers on right. the squad. Yeah. So you thought you were very, in, in the sessions themselves, what was the thing you felt allowed you to really stand out in those sessions? Because obviously those guys were very impressed, they offered you a three-year contract, a uh, two-year option. Um, what was the thing that you felt made a difference with regards to your performance? The dribbling skill because most most of the sessions the coaches were like just show us what you can do skill 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 so I could have seen that they wanted a skill player so right. I showed them what I have also the finishing they love to see a player that can dribble and score so right yeah. when you went over there where did you where where did you have where did they set you up in other words what was your position on the field what, what were they looking for. Uh, in terms of your position, where did they line you up on, you know, on that position? Left striker, they were looking for a left striker because they hardly left footers right. the squad, so they needed a left striker. Alright. If I saw a lot of guys, obviously in Trinidad and Tobago, uh, dream of one day having the opportunity to go out to Europe and play at that level. It's not something that happens every day. Uh, as a youngster, so, so at nine, 10 years old, this is this something that, that, that you always knew you wanted to do? Yes, of course. Maybe at the age of 19, I suggest going as soon. Right. I could go that and just see myself play on TV. Right. Making everyone cheer on for me. So it has been a goal for me to make it up. So it was a good thing. Every day after being in the field training, I talk to myself. What is the thing you think that keeps back? guys in Trinidad from really getting to that next level. The hard work and also 
prayer is a very important thing in my in my book because through prayer and through Jesus everything is possible and I think a lot more players need to believe okay. so they work hard and yet so they don't make it but we need to work hard with the prayer so the combination makes it in a way that we surely make it. Yeah, so that spirituality is important. Yeah.